As I've mentioned in previous videos, I used to be a theater teacher. And one of the things that happens in theater teaching is they will say, act happy, act sad, act frustrated, act angry, act whatever. I think there's a lot of corollaries between that and what we try and do with ourselves through affirmations and what we try and tell ourselves, you need to be this way. We don't really think about what it is that's behind how we're feeling. And I think it's just dumb to tell somebody act happy or act sad. Now there are things in our bodies that we can do. We can smile in the mirror for five minutes a day in the morning and you will actually feel happier over time if you actually do that. However, the most important thing to remember out of this, I think, is that the best actors, and we are all actors in our own lives, the best actors they know their character intensely. They know the background of their character. Why do we look at that single tear come out of Denzel Washington's eye and go, dang. Why do we suspend disbelief when we see Hugh Jackman playing Wolverine? Why, do we, why are we able to suspend disbelief when we see these amazing actors and actresses in movies? It's because they know their background. Do you know your background? Because you're a character. You are currently playing a character in this life. You are. You've decided who this character is based on a background, based on a story, based on knowing the things that you know about this character. You can change that by also being the watcher. So if there's something you don't like in your life, you can take five minutes or 10 minutes or 20 minutes in a day at various intervals and go, I'm going to not just experience what just happened, but I'm going to also watch what just happened. I'm going to get above this thing that I'm currently in and go, what just happened? And we all do this if you are a thinking cognizant person. The thing is to think about doing it more. I'm not just the character. I'm also the watcher. And a lot of people get into that watcher state by connecting with something greater, either a spiritual or a religious or a combination of the two approach to becoming not only the character, but also the watcher. You can also, however, become the critic and you can also become the director. There are lots of critics in the world. Lots of people who are like, hey, this thing sucked. Hey, this thing's terrible. Hey, this thing's amazing. You can become that critic for yourself. And that's not necessarily a bad thing, but that is a separate entity from the watcher. If you believe the critic too much, you will look at the character and think this character can't get better. The critic can say some pretty awful things. You can also be the director. And what a good director will do is say, instead of act happy, act sad, repeat this thing over and over to yourself until you believe it. They will say, play this in a different way. And how do you play it? in a different way by using different verbs. Our 3D reality is controlled by verbs. What if I approach this scene that I'm about to step into with the intent to learn? How might that scene be played differently if I play it with the intent to withhold? How might that scene be differently if I play it with the intent to be admired? to be submissive, filling your verb. You can take reality and you can play with reality by playing different verbs. We do this without even realizing we're doing it. But if you consciously create the reality that you want by playing the verb that you want to create in a situation, other people are going to interact with that differently. There are verbs that you can play that are more powerful than other verbs. To pick a verb. There are books of verbs that you can buy. You can just Google 500 verbs. Give me 500 verbs. And in your next interaction in this life as the character you're playing, play a different verb. See what happens. But before you can even get to being the director, you might have to just say, I'm going to be the character and I'm going to be the watcher. Make sure you take a step back to be the watcher for 10 minutes at night, for 10 minutes in the morning, before you get out of bed, be the watcher. One of the great things about organized religion is that it forces you to take time to take a step back 
and to be the watcher and not be the character. You are both. You're the character experiencing the thing. You are also the watcher. When you get good at both of these things, it becomes much easier to not really believe everything the critic says and to get into the position of being the director who's creating the kind of show that you actually want to experience in this life. Again, the way you do that is by playing a different verb. Now, this also works as a sports metaphor. I'm gonna make a different video about how this works in sports. The big message today is you can be the character, but also take time to be the watcher. The critic, you're also that. Don't take too much time here until you're really, really good at being the watcher and the character. And then you can also be the director. And a really good director will give you solid, powerful intentions to go forth in the world and actually create what you want. I'm going to make a different video, probably several videos about intention. And those are coming. And in the meantime, think about this. Become the watcher for 10 minutes today and just review what has happened in your experience in life for the last hour, for the last day. See what comes out of just watching. Do you like this character? Do you like the way this character is? Is this a character you want to continue watching? This character, whoever you are. Is that a character you like? Is that a character you enjoy going to the movies to see? If not, Spend more time with the watcher and just watch. And then you can move into the director and you can listen less to the critic. If you like this video, like, subscribe, comment. How did this make a difference for you? What might you do to get a different intention? What intention are you going to play? Would love to read that in the comments. And if you're enjoying this content, please like and subscribe. I plan to do a whole lot more like this with things from my experience and share them with you, hopefully to take as something you can use on a daily basis. Wishing you the best for a beautiful and amazing day.